Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at a trigonometry word problem. Uh, this type of problem could come up in junior cert, uh, higher level, or leave insert, ordinary level. Uh, probably wouldn't get something this easy in leave insert, higher level. Uh, if, you, if this came up in, on the leave insert, higher level paper, you consider yourself very lucky. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, John is standing at the top of a 200 meter high cliff. He sees a boat on the water and wants to calculate how far away the boat is. He measures the angle of depression from the top of the cliff to the boat as 27 degrees. Calculate how far the boat is from the cliff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a little sketch. So this is a rough sketch of what this looks like. So we have a cliff with John at the top. We have a boat out on the water. We have a right angle here. We're going to assume it's a right angle at the bottom of the cliff. We know the cliff is 200 meters. Here's our hypotenuse down to the boat. Now our angle of depression is this angle here. This is 27 degrees. Now as you can see, that's not part of the triangle that we're looking at. We want to find this side here, x, but we don't have any of the other angles. We can use this angle 27 to calculate this angle here. So this whole angle would be 90 degrees, because that's a right angle there. So that means 90 minus 27, we're left with 63 degrees. Or you could have said that this angle is alternate to this angle, and therefore that one's 27 degrees. Either way is fine. This is just the way I like to do it. So let's use this sketch to draw a right angle triangle and calculate our side x. So I'll put in my right angle, my side x, my side 200, and my angle 63 degrees. Now, when I'm dealing with trigonometry problems, I need to, de need to know SOHCAHTOA. I need this to know, am I going to use sine, cos, or tan? Now, according to 63 degrees, I have the opposite side and I have the adjacent side. So that means I'm going to use tan. So the tan of 63 is equal to the opposite, x, over the adjacent 200. To solve for x, I need to multiply across by 200. So 200 tan 63 degrees is equal to x. Type that into your calculator there as 200 tan 63. Hopefully you should get 392.5. There'll be a few more decimal places there, but we'll just leave it correct to one decimal place. And that's meters. Okay, so... Um, Tune into the next video. That's going to be a um, harder example of using uh, trigonometry, um, something that you might um, find on a Leave Insert higher level paper. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.